In August 2021, Coca-Cola announced it would be closing its bottling plant in Northampton. The facility is set to close in December of this year. The bottling plant is Northampton's largest manufacturer and is one of the top employers in the city, with over 300 people currently working there. Additionally, a large portion of the city's water revenue comes from this plant. This is expected to result in Northampton residents and businesses seeing an increase of over 200% in water bills once Coca-Cola leaves. We spoke to city officials and others about the impact that this closure will have on the Northampton community. The closure of Coca-Cola will is going to have a very significant impact on our water and sewer enterprise funds. So a quarter of those two um, enterprises are funded by Coca-Cola's usage at their very large plant. So right now we are, we're starting to see that they're ramping down production um, and they're using less water. And when they completely leave, that takes with them a quarter of our water and sewer um, uh, revenue that comes in. They are continue to be the city's biggest customer. And when you have your biggest customer go away, like Coca-Cola, um, you still need to figure out a way to pay for it, less that enormous customer. To be able to make up for this quarter loss, what we've had to do this year is, in, is increase the base rate charge on water and start a base rate charge on sewer. Um, that's been a hard thing for us to do, but with Again, we have to make up that revenue. There's really no choice. Coca-Cola has really left us in a lurch with their leaving. One of the ways that we are lessening the impacts is by uh, folks who are low income or seniors and qualify. They, they, they don't have to pay the CPA fee and they don't also have to pay the additional increase that is required now with the new rates. We are hopeful that, you know, once they are leaving, we can actually work with them to get someone into that space. So we have been working with all levels of government. We've, I've spoken to the governor, the lieutenant governor, our reps. Um, I've worked with our senators, um, our congressmen. Congressman McGovern is very involved in this. We are all working to get Coca-Cola to cooperate with us and um, help us help them market that property. They have a very big facility over there. When, when you think just in terms of property, it's a big building. But the problem is that we're looking for somebody who's going to use a lot of water too. And there's only so many businesses that actually do that. The other thing that kind of complicates this is that uh, Coke needs to be a willing participant in this. And, and we haven't had that kind of um, cooperation going on. In a statement to the transcript, a Coca-Cola representative said, we are committed to supporting the impact on employees through this transition and will be working closely with third-party co-packers and other system members to proactively identify job opportunities at surrounding locations. We also encourage our Northampton employees to apply and be considered for jobs they are qualified to perform within the Coca-Cola system and at other third-party co-packer locations. These decisions are never made lightly. We continually review our company-owned capital-intensive assets to ensure that we are investing in building long-term capabilities for the company. After much deliberation, we identified co-packers that have the capacity within their own operations to assume the volume from this facility. Thanks for watching and see you next year.